how to create a profitable online store with Shopify. So I put together 10 steps for you. Let's dive right in. Step number one, research your market. You want to understand the needs and desires of your target market and choose a niche that can serve you well. That includes identifying your target audience, researching their purchasing habits, and identifying the products and services that they're looking for. So by understanding your target market, um, you can choose a niche that you can serve well, and you can create a more focused and effective marketing strategy, which is vital to your success. So one of the key aspects of researching your market is identifying that target audience. That includes understanding the demographics of the people who will be most likely to purchase your products or services. That can include things like <coughs> age, gender, income level, education, and more. So once you have a clear understanding of your target audience, you can be begin to research their purchasing habits and the types of products and services that they are basically looking for. That's gonna allow you to choose a niche that you can serve well and create products that are more likely to appeal to your target market. Also, uh, you can research what your competitors are doing, where they're selling, the products and prices they're offering, and marketing strategies that they're using and how they're engaging with their customers. That can help you to set yourself apart from the competition and come up with like a unique spin for your own Shopify store. So the second step is to choose the Shopify plan. They offer a range of pricing options. So you want to choose the one that fits your budget and your business needs. So they do offer a range to suit different budgets and needs, including a basic plan, a standard plan, and an advanced plan. Each one offers different features and functionalities. So it's vital to choose the one that fits you best. So the basic plan is the most affordable option. It's suitable for a lot of small businesses or people just starting out. It offers like a limited set of features and functionalities, including support for one staff account, very basic reporting and analytics, and the ability to sell an unlimited number of products. So for businesses that are looking for more advanced features like gift cards and professional report options, the standard or advanced plans might be a better fit. Also, it's good to consider when it comes to Shopify plans, you also pay transaction fees. So although they're waived, if you're using Shopify payments, although they even still charge a little fee there too. So I think um, also Shopify apps and integrations can also cost extra. So you need to budget for those as well, depending on the needs of your store. You want to evaluate, evaluate your needs based on the features you want and choose a plan that is the best fit for your business. All right, the third part of this is to customize your store design. So the Shopify offers like a, a variety of customizable templates, or you can hire a designer to create a new look for you and your store, or you can buy them. So it not only should be visually appealing, but also easy to navigate and user friendly. And they do offer like a lot of customization options that you can use to design your own store. Um, they're fully responsive and the key is they're mobile friendly, meaning it's gonna look great on any device. And they do come in a variety of design options to customize color fonts and layouts. If you want a more unique and custom design for your store, you can also hire a designer to create one for you. There's lots of them out there. This option can be a bit more expensive than using a template, but it can also help to make your store stand out from the competition. And it will give you a site that is fully tailored to the branding and style that you really want for your store. So. I think when customizing your store design, you got to keep in mind usability and user experience. Navigation's got to be simple, intuitive, and easy to understand. You should also make sure that important elements like call to actions, shopping carts, and contact information are prominent on your pages. Also, um, it's important that your design reflects your brand and gives a professional look that can make a good impression on your customers. So a good design can enhance your credibility help your customers to find what they're looking for and make their experience more enjoyable. Once you've got all that in place, it's on to step number four, <coughs> excuse me, which is adding products. So you wanna add high quality product images and descriptions to your store and use product tags to make it easy for customers to find what they're looking for. That includes um, like detailed descriptions and pricing information. It's also important to have very high quality images that clearly show your products as customers, they're more likely to purchase something 
um, if they can see it in good detail. So if you have blurry pictures, it's not going to work, or pixely pictures, it's not going to work. So make sure you add clear and detailed product descriptions and include information about the product's features, dimensions, weight, and any other relevant details. So another important aspect when adding products to your store is to use those product tags. When you're tagging products, it can help customers to find what they're looking for more easily. It can also aid your store in improving its search engine optimization. You can also create collections or categories of your products to make the navigation even more intuitive for your customers. And finally, you should also make sure that your products are priced competitively and you're providing accurate and up-to-date information. This can include offering different variants of a product like size and color options, as well as provide information on shipping, returns, and warranty options. So giving your customers as much information as possible can help to build trust and make the purchasing process more seamless. All right, step number five, you've got everything ready to go. Now you gotta set up payments and shipping. So you wanna choose a payment gateway and configure shipping options and rates for your store. The Shopify offers a wide range of options, including Shopify payments, which is the company's own payment processing system, as well as integration with third-party gateways like PayPal and Stripe and more. So each option has its own fees, security features, um, and measures in place. So it's really important that you research and compare the different options to find the one that is the best fit for your business. If you're running a drop shipping business, you probably shouldn't use PayPal because they're going to put a hold on your products. Uh, additionally, you'll need to configure shipping options and rates for your store. That includes setting up shipping destinations you'll be able to serve and the cost for shipping. So Shopify also allows you to set up shipping rates based on weight, order total, and even by location. Uh, you can also set up free shipping options, which is a really good idea. Uh, or charge flat rates and real-time shipping rates through a third-party provider like UPS or FedEx. Um, when setting up shipping, it's important to consider factors like cost, speed of delivery, and the customer experience. You got to think uh, you want to balance between providing fast and reliable shipping options while not breaking the bank. Also, be very transparent about your shipping options and costs so that can help build trust with your customers. All right, so now you've got everything in place, you've got it all set up. You wanna optimize everything for SEO now. You wanna use keywords, uh, step six, in your titles and products and descriptions, and make sure your store is mobile friendly to improve your search rankings. I think optimizing your store for SEO can help to improve your search engine rankings, making it more likely that customers will actually find your site when they search for products that you sell. Like they go to Google and they look for it, and one key aspect of SEO is to use relevant keywords. Okay, when customers search for your products, they often use keywords to find the products they want. So by using these keywords in your product titles and descriptions, you're making it more likely that your products will show up in search results on Google and when customers use these keywords. So additionally, you wanna make sure that your website structure is optimized for SEO, such as having a logical structure, using header tags and meta descriptions and creating a site map. Now, another important aspect is to make sure your store is mobile friendly because mobile traffic has increased so much, search engines like Google give more relevance to sites that are mobile friendly. Shopify templates are designed to be mobile friendly or out of the box, but you should also test your store on various devices to ensure that it looks good and works well on all of them. So finally, keep in mind, SEO is a continuous process and takes a lot of time to see results, but by implementing best practices, monitoring your progress, It'll gradually help your store to reach its audience and its uh, increased visibility and visitors. All right, step seven in the master plan here uh, is to use social media and email marketing. You want to use that to promote your store and connect with your customers and use email marketing to keep customers informed about new products and special offers. Repeat customers are amazing. Additionally, social platforms can also offer features like paid advertising that can help you reach a larger audience and drive more traffic to your store. Now, going back, email marketing is another effective way to connect with your customers and promote your store. It can be used to keep them informed about new products, upcoming sales, special offers. You can also use it to communicate with them directly. So for example, send them a personalized thank you email after they buy. Um, I think it is very important to get permission from your customer before sending the emails and uh, don't overdo it. Don't bombard customers with too many emails because that can be a turnoff. So 
when using social media and email marketing, it's very important to be consistent in your messaging and branding. Make sure your message and look align with your store and brand. You also wanna use the metrics and analytics provided by Shopify and the platforms to track the effectiveness of your campaigns and adjust them accordingly. So I think by using social media and email marketing, you can build stronger relationships with your customers, increase your brand awareness and drive more sales to your store. Uh, that's a very good thing. All right, step eight, analyze your data and make data-driven decisions. I see this mistake made too many times with a lot of people. You can use Shopify's analytics to track your store's performance and make changes to improve it. They do offer a variety of tools to allow you to track important metrics like website traffic, sales customers, uh, demographics, and more. So by analyzing that data, you can gain valuable insights into how your store is performing and you can start making informed decisions on how to improve it, which is the ultimate goal. One of the key metrics to track is website traffic. So by monitoring the number of visitors to your site and how they interact with your store, you can identify areas that you might need to improve. So for example, if you see a high bounce rate, it could be an indication that your site is difficult to navigate or that your products are not well presented. Also, you can track conversion rates, which measures you know, the percentage of visitors who make a purchase. Improving your conversion rate alone can increase your store's revenue and profitability. Another important thing to track is your sales, right? I mean, that's a goal, that's why we're doing this. This will give you a clear understanding of which products are performing well, which ones aren't, and how to improve those that aren't. Additionally, you should also track customer demographics like age, gender, and location, which can help you uh, better target your marketing efforts and tailor your products to the needs of your customers. So by analyzing your data, Making data-driven decisions, you can improve your store's performance and increase its profitability over time. All right, step nine. Always, always, always do this. Offer exceptional customer service. So respond to customer inquiries and complaints promptly and professionally. Don't take it personally. Provide excellent post-sale support to encourage repeat business. When customers have a positive experience with your store, they're more, much more likely to return and make more purchases. Additionally, Good customer service can also lead to positive word of mouth, with which can help to drive more traffic to your store, which means more sales. One important aspect of providing good customer service is to respond to those inquiries and complaints quickly and professionally. This includes uh, responding to customer emails and messages in a timely manner and provide helpful and accurate information. You should also have a clear and easy to find return and refund policy, which can help build trust with your customers and save you some headaches down the road. Um, you also wanna look at post-sale support. This includes following up with customers after they make a purchase to make sure they're satisfied with their purchase and to address any issues that may arise. You can also use that as an opportunity to upsell or cross-sell other products or re request feedback from your customers and, and in the form of reviews, which is good. So offering exceptional customer service can help to increase that customer satisfaction, retention, and loyalty. This can ultimately lead to repeat business, which can increase your store's revenue and profitability. All right, step 10. You want to do this always with any business. You want to continuously improve and adapt to the changing market. So keep an eye on the latest trends, optimize your marketing strategies, and adapt to changes in customer demands. Creating a profitable online store is not a one-time event. It's an ongoing process that requires continuous improvement and adaptation to the changing market. This includes staying up to date with the latest trends in e-com, uh, technology and customer preferences, and making changes to your store to stay ahead of the curve. So one of the key aspects of continuous improvement is to optimize your marketing strategies, which means you wanna be experimenting with different marketing channels, like email, social media, uh, paid advertising to determine which ones are most effective for your store. It's also important to keep an eye on your customer's behavior, their purchase history and feedback, which can help you to identify areas of improvement and make those data-driven decisions to optimize your store's performance. Additionally, adaptability is also important in order to keep your store profitable and relevant. This means being open to change and being willing to adapt to changes in customers' demands and trends. For example, if you notice that a certain product category is becoming increasingly popular, considering adding more products in that category to your store. 
You should also be aware of shifts in customers' behavior like increasing preference for mobile shopping or a shift towards eco-friendly pro products and adapt accordingly. So uh, I think creating an online store with Shopify requires like a combination of research, planning and execution. By following the steps outlined in this video, you can set up your Shopify store for success. So from researching your market and customizing your store design to adding products, setting up payments and shipping, optimizing for SEO, you can create a store that meets the needs of your customers and drives revenue for your business. I hope this video has provided valuable insights and useful information to help you create a successful online store. If you found the content helpful in any way, want to stay up to date on future videos, like and subscribe to the old channel. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you never miss a new video. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day.